how to scan a canvas painting like this one um, using a flatbed scanner in order to make prints of your artwork. You guys said that you wanted a video about this. Um, last week I learned how to do this with my paper drawings and I heard that you could do it the same way with a canvas. So here we go. First thing you're gonna need is, of course, a scanner. Um, this is the Epson Perfection V39. This was not an expensive scanner like I thought it would have to be. Um, I think I got this on sale for $80, you guys, $80. This particular scanner is designed to work with a PC and I have a Mac, so you will need a USB-C to USB-A connector if you're also using a Mac with this particular scanner. So this is what the scanner looks like. Um, it has like a little, you know, flip top um, and apparently you can just take this top part off. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so as you can see, my painting is quite a bit larger than my scanner, um, and that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to scan this in pieces. So essentially, I'm going to break this into six pieces um, just because eyeballing the size of the scanner to this, um, I think it's going to take six overlapping pieces. So essentially, I'm going to do two pieces across the top, two pieces across the middle, and two pieces across the bottom. Once we scan all six pieces, we can stitch them together in Photoshop, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do in just a moment. Next, I'm just lining up the first top section um, of my artwork on my scanner. This is a little trickier than with paper because one, I can't close the top, and two, the canvas is heavier, so I'm actually gonna to have to hold this with my hand the whole time. While I'm holding onto that with my left hand, we're gonna come over to my computer and click Open Scanner. and it's making an overview scan right now. That way I can see if I'm holding this crooked or anything like that, um, or if I need to fix it. So I went ahead and enlarged the overview just to make sure everything looks good. Um, I am scanning at 300 DPI resolution, um, and here you can go ahead and change where your document is going to save to once it's done um, and what type of file format it is. Once I've made all my selections as far as the file goes, um, for some reason with the painting, it's asking me to manually select the area that I would like to scan. Um, when I did this with my drawing, it kind of auto-selected. So I'm just kind of dragging um, the box around um, the whole piece and then I'm gonna hit scan down here at the bottom. And it should scan that whole corner. Once the scan is done, I just like to check to make sure the image saved and I can see it right here. So now we can move on to do the opposite corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. We did the top left corner first. So now we're gonna do the top right corner. Um, and I'm gonna rotate my scanner here just so less of the painting is hanging off my desk. And I'm gonna get a little bit more creative this time with how I hold this in place because that was not easy to hold with my hand. So I'm actually going to put like a stack of books on top. I saw somebody else do this in a video. Ta-da! So now we're just going to repeat our steps from before. Let's change this to say painting part two. Um, and then I'm gonna hit overview to get a new um, image for the new part of the piece. Everything looks good on the overview and the scanning area is still selected from last time. So I am just gonna go ahead and hit scan. And then once it's done scanning, it will just automatically save it to the place that I selected and we can double check that the file is there. So now we're just gonna repeat that process with the remaining four parts of the painting. Um, and once I have all of those images saved, we will go into Photoshop. Next, I'm just gonna open up each um, piece of the painting individually and rotate it so that it is in the correct position. Um, that's just gonna make it easier when I get to Photoshop. So next you're gonna open Photoshop and then open one piece of your painting. Um, then we're gonna click File, Automate, and go all the way down to Photo Merge. 
Um, I've had the best luck just kind of stitching two pieces at a time together. You can try and stitch all of them together at once, but you might run into some trouble. Um, so we're going to hit add open files to add the file that I already have open in the background. Um, then you're going to hit browse and I'm going to pick the piece above that one. You want to try to pick a piece that has a lot of information along the line where they're going to meet um, so that they'll stitch together easily. And then I'm just going to hit OK. I have it on auto um, and down here I have it checked for blend images together. So click OK um, and then Photoshop should do its thing for a second. And there are my first two pieces stitched together. So now I'm just going to um, repeat that process um, for the rest of the pieces and then I will show you guys the final process. So again, I'm going to go to File, Automate, Photo Merge, and select Add Open Files to add the image we have in the background here. Um, then we are going to browse for another piece. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use the top corner just above my creature's head, and then I'm going to hit OK and hope that it will... <laughs> automatically stitch those together again for me. Awesome. Now we're going to do the same thing with the three pieces on the other side. All right, so we are almost there. I actually ended up having to do eight scans instead of six because there was like a teeny strip down the middle um, that it didn't quite reach. So I had to do two scans, one at the top and one at the bottom of the middle. And I'm still missing a tiny piece right here in the center. Um, so I'm going to make one more scan and then stitch that in and then we can crop the edges. And there you have it. There is the full piece. That was kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's totally doable. Um, now I'm just going to like crop the edges or maybe add a white border because most of my prints have a white border around them. So there you guys have it. That is how you would scan a canvas um, so that you can make art prints out of it. It was definitely a little bit more difficult than the drawing, but that was more user error on my end um, for missing that strip of the painting in the middle. Um, there are also tons of YouTube videos about using Photo Merge in Photoshop if you need additional help with that if you're trying this yourself. Um, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys, and I hope that you guys all have the best day ever.